guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the new 2022 Lexus RX 350, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So I am in this one today because, of course, Lexus is known for its amazing reliability. This one actually scored an above average reliability by Consumer Reports, which is always the source that I use because they are non-biased. They don't take any money from any outside sources. Of course, you have all the luxury that Lexus is known for as well. And so in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about the RX from acceleration to braking, steering wheel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are a few different configurations for the 2022 Lexus RX 350. MSRP for this one is actually going to start at $45,320. There's also an F Sport spec that you can get. That one starts at $48,800. And then there is the Black Line Special Edition. That one starts at $49,450. And by the way, that was all pricing for the front wheel drive configuration. If you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those prices, is simply add fourteen hundred dollars then but regardless of trim level or configuration that you go with the power plant on this one is going to be the same powering the rx350 is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 295 horsepower at 6300 rpm 268 pound feet of torque coming in at 4700 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys of course know we will be testing out in a little bit here but zero to 60 times is going to come in at 7.7 .7 seconds for the front wheel drive, 7.9 seconds then for the all wheel drive configuration. Top speed, if you're interested, comes in at 124 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 27 then on the highway for the front wheel drive, 19 city, 26 on the highway for the all wheel drive. But said that before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our RX, I did want to mention the drive modes. And so that circular dial is located directly behind the cup holders there, but that will include normal eco and sport and then there actually is a sport plus driving mode if you were to go with that f sport it's just going to be available i should say for the f sport trim but overall it adjusts things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so let me go ahead and put it in sport it is definitely a noticeably heavier steering feel let me tell you guys that right now it's weighted so much heavier when you put it in that sport driving mode but anyways I'm getting ahead of myself. What do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first. And by the way, there is a full manual shift mode. I'm just going to simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. That is going to tell me I am in third gear right there on the digital portion of the gauges and an M for manual mode there. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, you guys, here's our paddle shifter test in three, two, one, go. One more time. It's not bad. It's not the quickest I've ever tested, but it's actually not bad. Typically with SUVs and paddle shifters, when you combine those two, it's really bad. But this one's actually, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not the quickest I've ever tested, but it'll, it'll definitely get the job done. I'm not too disappointed with them. I'll put it that way. But anyways, to get back full control to the RX here, I'm just gonna simply slide the shifter back to the right. And now, Having said that, let's go ahead and find yet another straightaway and let's see how quickly the RX350 on its own is going to get us up to speed. All right, in three, two, one, from a standstill, go. Whoa, quick acceleration. I mean like no delay when you first hit the gas. This thing is quick, <laughs> okay. This thing is dang quick. If I'm being honest, I didn't expect that from I don't expect that typically from SUV. So that kind of surprised me. You're 100% not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway and these short on ramps where it's a 65 mile per hour speed limit here in Pennsylvania. So that'll definitely get the job done without a doubt. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.9 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.3 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it is going to come in in a fairly respectable 123 feet. But having said that, as far as the braking feel goes, it's definitely on the softer side. One of the first things I noticed besides the super comfortable seats, but it's definitely 
nice soft braking feel. I wouldn't have minded if Lexus maybe tuned up that braking a little bit to make it a bit firmer. So comparatively speaking to a lot of the other SUVs, this one does tend to lean a little bit more on the softer side of braking. But now, touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent double wishbone type rear suspension, gas pressurized shock absorbers, front and rear stabilizer bars as well. And if you were to go with that F-Sport trim, there is actually an F-Sport handling package that goes for $2,400, but that is actually going to give you an adaptive damping suspension, which I always like to recommend. That is going to give you the best of both worlds. It's going to adjust each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering. Again, giving you the best of both worlds. So that is one I would definitely recommend. You're not gonna be able to get it with this particular configuration that we have today, but for the F-Sport, it's there for you. But anyways, overall, as far as ride quality goes, it's perfectly fine. Honestly, even without that adaptive damping suspension, it is soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely. I will say that. As far as steering feel goes, like I said previously, it depends on which driving mode that you put it in. I'm still in that sport driving mode just because I love that heavier weight to the steering. And if you guys wanted to see what the turning radius is actually like, I always like to do that right at this particular spot here. It's not too bad. It's pretty much average for this segment. So sometimes I get stuck there with that turn, but with this one, I was perfectly fine. So no issues there. As far as cabin noise goes, it is a Lexus. It is what you expect a Lexus to be. I have been above 50 miles per hour already. There wasn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin. So as far as cabin noise goes, it is definitely a serene cabin. So no issues there for me. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back, as you would expect from an SUV with this shape. But not only that, rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on the RX 350, meaning whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So that's definitely a big plus there. And yet again, when it comes to visibility, I am looking at a head up display. It's giving me actually a little compass. It's giving me safety information. It's giving me the speed limit of any given road that I am currently on and is also giving me my current speed as well. And I got to say, it's one of the higher definition head up displays and it's quite large as well. So very crystal clear. I'm definitely loving that. It helps you better keep your eyes on the road. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Lexus RX 350. All right. So here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Lexus RX 350 finished in eminent white pearl. In case anybody was curious of our exterior color name, but let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Of course, F Sport specific front fascia and front grille. If you were to go with that F Sport trim level that we do not have today, but either way, Lexus spindle front grille will come standard across the board, surrounded in a chrome perimeter, of course. To the sides, LED headlights coming standard as well with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights also coming standard and automatic high beams then as well. But I did want to mention an option for you guys, LED triple beam headlights going for $1,675 is an option. We do have that option. So we did want to mention that to you guys today. You can see that they actually do come with the auto leveling feature as well. So that is definitely a big plus too. LED fog lights and cornering function all the way down below there. And you can find some front air curtains to the sides there as well, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination of course but gloss black front splinter then coming with the black line edition and we actually do have that black line edition package here today so you guys can see that gloss black front splitter there so definitely gives it a nice little added touch but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the rx all right so now since we are around to the side of this one aluminum roof rails coming with the black line and it is going to be optional then otherwise so therefore we do of course have those chrome window surrounds do come standard and then you guys can see the floating roof line towards the c pillar of the rx there Body color power adjustable side mirrors do also come standard. They do also come with auto dimming and they will be heated with LED integrated turn signals then as well. And since we have the black line, of course, we do have them finished in a gloss black color. So that's why we got that. But anyways, let's now go ahead and take a look at the wheel configuration. 18 inch split five spoke alloys coming with the base setup. 20 inch F Sport specific 10 spoke alloys coming with the F Sport and 20 inch black alloys then coming with the black line. And so that last option there is what you guys are currently looking at. Definitely a very nice wheel look to this one, but 
pretty much rounds out the side. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the RX. And so but now since we are around to the back here, body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that rear window wiper. And that rear window wiper actually, it's not gonna be found on the rear glass. It's actually going to be tucked away underneath. Let's see if I can show you guys. Just trust me, it's under there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is under there. LED taillights, if you were to go with the LED triple beam headlight package, that is how you're going to go ahead and get those LED taillights. So I wanted to specify that. F-Sport badging, of course, coming with the F-Sport trim level, gloss black rear diffuser, coming with the black line, so you guys can see that in the middle there. And just to the sides, integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips i always love when the exhaust is integrated into the rear bumper it's definitely a very high-end look like we have here on the rx and by the way black badging here too i just noticed that since we had the black lines that's pretty cool but anyways back to the exhaust as always i think you guys know what we have to do next here is that exhaust clip And so but now since we are around back here of the RX, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate with the kick sensor. That is a $150 option if you wanted to go that route. There is a button on the key fob that is one way. There's a button on the tailgate itself. And like I said, there is a power tailgate with the kick sensor if you wanted to splurge an extra $150. But anyways, once opened up, behind that second row, it's gonna come in at 16 cubic feet even with those rear seats folded down because there's a 40-20-40 split that is going to bump that up to 32.7 cubic feet. So not a ton of space for an SUV, but I will say there is a ton of stuff going on in that cargo area. And the reason I say that you do have cargo lighting, but not just regular halogen lighting, you have LED cargo lighting, that's pretty cool. Grocery bag hooks, you can find back there there are tie down anchors as well there is a rear cargo cover to kind of protect or hide whatever you have in that cargo area that is pretty cool there is a little bit of in floor storage if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor but most of it's actually taken up by the spare tire so you do have a spare tire as opposed to the fix a flat under there but there is a little bit of storage back there so that's pretty cool and there is a 12 volt power outlet then back there as well so pretty much everything you could possibly need in the cargo area of an suv but then make Making our way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at an even 38 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there there is a rear center armrest with cup holders for those rear passengers of course rear ventilation as well there are actually two usb charging ports you don't always get that in suv so i want to specify that as well did want to also mention though heated second row seats are optional for that base setup or the f sport whichever one you end up going with and rear window sun shades are actually also going to be optional but we do not have them today so i cannot show them to you guys but overall rear seats are done plenty good but then making our way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats with a new lux finish coming standard memory settings for the f sport and black line trim levels that is pretty cool and that's for up to three different drivers a lot of times you'll find two different memory settings but this one actually has three so that's pretty cool heated and ventilated front seats go for 640 dollars that is an option we do have them today so that is definitely very nice because it is uh 82 degrees out here in pennsylvania so it's kind of on the hotter side of things f sport specific seats with enhanced bolstering for the f sport trim those are my favorite seats to date in existence out of the last 600 plus vehicles that i've experienced and driven those seats are still my favorite to date so well done lexus for creating those f sport seats these aren't bad that we have today but they're not f sport seats i'll say that but anyways seating was still plenty comfortable though i'll say that but then taking a look at the steering wheel one of my favorite parts here i'll tell you why tilt and telescoping it is actually power adjustable that comes standard across the board so that's pretty cool with the black line trim or package that we have today it's a heated wood and leather combination steering wheel so you got the wood at the top and also in the bottom two corners and then leather to the left and the right i love this setup i remember the lexus is 350 that i drove not too long ago had the same steering wheel setup so I just love it. It's the, the wood steering wheel is so freaking cold. But anyways, perforated leather finish then goes for $150 if you wanted to go that route. But then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You have your Lexus logo on the one side. Then when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear tailgate. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So 
All I'm going to do here is simply leave the key in my pocket, put my foot on the brake, and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a small digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. Of course, you can check out your driving modes. They are gonna be displayed up on that digital portion as well, but you can also check out how many miles you have left until you hit empty, which apparently is telling us 420 miles left right now. That's a decent amount of range. Also trip A, trip B, of course. There's gonna be ego indicator, tire pressure information. There's a compass, audio settings, when you need your next oil change, the list goes on. Pretty much everything you possibly need up there, but then making our our way to overall interior quality power moonroof is going to come standard on the black line but i will say there is a panorama glass roof that goes for $1,850. That is an option and we do have that option today. So that is allowing that moonroof to go all the way into the back seat. So that's letting in so much more light from my video here today. So I am appreciative. But anyways, black headliner coming with the F Sport, but we do have this white light headliner and it is so soft. Another one of the first things I noticed when I got in this one, this is a super soft headliner. I just kind of want to like rub it while I'm driving, but not really because that wouldn't be safe but it is super soft i just wanted to make that point overhead sunglass holder is going to come standard across the board led ambient interior lighting coming with the f sport trim that's pretty cool dual zone climate control coming standard of course aluminum trim accents coming with the f sport walnut trim coming with the black line that is pretty cool you guys can see that walnut trim on the doors as well as the steering wheel aluminum foot pedals coming for the f sport trim level only wireless phone charger is a 200 dollars option but we do have it that's located just in front of the shifter there also just in front of the shifter you do have dual usb charging ports 12 volt power outlet a little slot to put your cell phone in if you did not want to wirelessly charge it there's an electromechanical parking brake and actually just in front of the shifter is where you're going to find your heated and ventilated seat buttons if you were to go with that package as well just to the right of the shifter, you have dual cup holders and then the uh, touchpad controller, which we'll get to when we get to the tech. Drive mode buttons, like I said, and then within the center armrest, decent amount of storage, but there's a little tray up there as well as a 12 volt power outlet and then two more USB charging ports as well as an auxiliary port then as well. So overall, as far as interior quality goes, a heck of a lot of very soft touch finishes, including on the doors, the armrest here on the doors. Also the armrest in the middle is very soft and squishy, which I like. Good places to rest your elbow. Also just above the gauges here, I like the little stitching and the soft touch material there. There's an auto dimming rear view mirror with homely controls for up to three different garage doors. And of course you got your old school fancy Lexus clock front and center. So that is pretty cool as well. Overall, it's finished like a luxury vehicle without a doubt. It's finished like a Lexus. So definitely very impressed there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech because this is going to be good. I never used to be able to say that about Lexus, but Lexus has really turned up the volume when it comes to the tech. Here's why. 8-inch color touchscreen display does come standard, but... The one that we have today and the really good one is going to be the 12.3 inch color touchscreen display. By the way, that goes for $2,285 that comes with the navigation package and there's a navigation and Mark Levinson package as well, which actually is the one we have today. And Mark Levinson is the sound system, which we're gonna test out here in a second. But either way, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming for both configurations. You still get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for both configurations. However, I do wish it was wireless. You still have to connect your phone via USB cable, but still at least you got it factory navigation system again goes for two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars check out your climate control settings up there and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the speakers here on the rx 350 nine speaker configuration is going to come standard but like i said we have the optional Mark Levinson sound system, which comes with navigation and the bigger screen. That goes for $3,365. That gives you 15 speakers and 835 watts. Having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> It's very good. It's very good without a doubt. The clarity is really what puts Mark Levinson over the top. Comparatively speaking to the other sound systems that I've tested, that clarity on that Mark Levinson is amazing. Of course, bass is plenty good as well, but that is a brilliant sound system for the RX without a doubt. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen at least is when you do put the RX in reverse, you of course will find the rear view camera coming standard across the board. Couple different views as well. At the bottom, it is a touch screen, so you can adjust that if you wanted to. But 
There is a panoramic view monitor that goes for $1,365, so that's available as well. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so let me first start by saying IIHS top safety pick for the RX, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You don't always get that. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but more of the exciting safety features are going to include, and by the way, this comes standard, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane trace assist, lane departure alert with steering assist, roadside assist dynamic radar cruise control i love that feature blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert then as well which is a little car icons in the side mirror so you don't turn into anyone in your blind spot on the highway but overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the rx350 great reliability most comfortable seats in existence if you go with that f sport trim level as well very smooth ride on this one amazing sound system with the mark levinson sound system that we had here today as well as far as room for improvement goes the wireless android auto apple carplay i think it's what's next overall for toyota and lexus they haven't really done that yet which a lot of other manufacturers are so that's one thing also, this gauge cluster is a little bit old school. I wouldn't have minded if they added maybe even an optional digital gauge cluster to this thing. So that's what everybody else is doing right now. BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and so on. So anyways, that's my two cents. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.